and this is Geek Must Have, and this is a post bag. It's a package from China. And when I kind of uncover the custom certificate, it says something control switch. So it'll be interesting to see what's actually in here. It's a boxy type of thing. So let's open it up. See what we got. It looks like it's a couple things. No, maybe it's one. Ah, I think I know what this is. More foam. Add to the never-ending foam collection. Yeah, this is what I thought it was. A remote control switch with a key fob. Yeah, two key fobs. Yeah, it is a four circuit remote control running at 433 megahertz with these wireless controls. It says mainly used in the remote control of electronic door, windows, switches. It has four passive outputs. Through the jumper you can change how it works. You can have it uh, latch, not latch, up to 50 meters according to the instructions here as to how this can work. The working voltage is 12 volts. The receiving frequency, it says 315 here or other frequencies. I do think this one is 433. All right, and you have to pair the remotes with the uh, actual receiver part. And let's open the receiver part up and see what it looks like inside. Now remember, right, it's got four relays in here. There we go. And there's the antenna. Right there, this little black springy thing right there. That's the antenna. Then there's four relays. The relays look like they can handle, like, time for my assistance. Twenty amps at 14 volts or 20 amps at 125 volts AC. So these relays can either do smaller voltages with DC or larger voltages with AC. Depending on how you hook them up to these terminals, and you can see that it's uh, A, B, and C. We have screw terminals on there. Relays. There's a set of jumpers on there and a push button switch, probably for resetting it. A wireless card right there. Some, I think it's a ceramic oscillator. I can't be certain. A nice little package. The uh, two screws that are right there on the side are probably for the 12 volts coming in. And then the other ones are for the circuits coming out. So this would be good to be able to control something where you needed to have four relays going at one time. It's just a standard wireless relay set. Uh, let's find out where this came from. Well, this was a fun video. I hope that you enjoyed it, possibly learned something from it. I have a feeling when I actually put this device to use, I'm going to learn something too. If you like this video, please click on the like button. Uh, leave any questions you have or feedback in the comments section below. I have a favor to ask you. Can you give this geek a hand? and subscribe to my channel. I would really appreciate it. Now, take a little time off and build something.